Hello everybody and welcome back to Assembly Planter. My name is Jeff, you can call me Jeff. Let's get into our game. Where we left off, I guess we left off with the exit screen up. That's true, that's true. Um, what's in my hand? Oh, right, okay. We've unlocked splitters and filters, nice. The splitter splits item streams. It can be used to make one polar feed multiple machines. The filter allows you to filter out specified items from an item stream. Okay. A simply planter by Timon Hazel. Harvesters, conveyor belts, filters. <clears throat> so filter out any type of item. So you can set a filter and pull things this way or this way or let things go through. Okay, by default, all items move to the orange facing, orange forward facing side with a regular conveyor belt. However, when you hover over a filter, buttons with arrows on them will appear if you click one of the buttons menu will show up where you can select items you want to filter in the direction of the arrow. Cool. Splitters allow you to split an item stream into two or three streams. Click on it to change its shape. If the splitter encounters an uneven number of items, it will send an extra item one way. However, it remembers this. The next time it encounters the same type of item, it will send it the other way. Interesting. Same type of item specifically. Okay. So... We could probably do with more of a stack size, right? What if I set up a, like an automated tree growing system? What do we need four earth orbs for that? That's not going to happen for a little bit. Splitters, conveyor belts, and rafter cores. So we want to automate those, I'm pretty sure. Not i do that all manually. So let's, let's see. Um, first of all, how much do you have left? Well, that's the last one. <laughs> all right, these are all empty because they're not putting anything down. That was the last one. Cool. All right, so if we stop here for a moment and think about, we want, silly. Um, I keep hitting E to open up the inventory like I'm playing Factorio or something. Um, I want to make small crates and have that automated. I need to automate trees. Let's make an auto crafter for this. And well, if I'm going to make an auto crafter for that, then I should make an auto crafter for these. I need one to make. Okay. Because that's also part of our milestone for leveling up. 20 of those. They take quite a few ingredients, though. Hmm. Maybe I don't actually want an auto crafter for that. I'll just manually make them. It's easy to click, 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 click. For now, anyway, this um, shift. Yeah, we got our part back. Nope, still not the button I wanted. <clears throat> um, the crates. All right, so this will make crates. If we put in wood. Let's make a. Uh, Filter. That's this one. Conveyor filter. We can make one of those. Nice. Because I'm thinking we want to be able to separate out the wood from the biomass that's coming in. Um, did those take cores to make? They don't. Just need to make a copper compost bin and a copper sieve. 
one of you. We need lots of copper. 20 and 20. So let's make some copper seeds. That's you. And let's open up this and we have tons of biomass. How many does that make? One. One dirt, one seed. Um, the biomass... How do you make dirt? There's a recipe for that. It turns five biomass into seven dirt. So I don't need to put a whole lot in. That's the wrong tool. Um, rotate around there. Okay. Let's equip this. All right. Um, put in like nine, ten ish. Sean Connery's favorite sport, ten ish. Um, seeds. We just plant those instead of making the auto planters do it or feeding them all in. This will be quicker. There they all are. <clears throat> and it still looks a little bit off center. Is that more square? That looks more square. All right, there's our last cup. That should be enough to make one of these. We need a little more. Put in a few more in there. We get us some more copper seeds. I suppose I could put this dirt directly in, too. Just to get rid of it. Nothing else. Still getting all this copper. Pop, pop, pop. Should be done soon. There it is. Those grabbers are so fast, it's hard to see them go. The auto harvesters. All right, there's the end. And we should be able to make our copper sieve. And we wanted those because we want another one of each of these. So one of these and one of these. And the idea here is I want to I want to leave some of these things. Pick the rest of them up. What am I doing? Um Yeah, we can leave plastic, I guess. Let's just make some space. What I'd like to do is get like a closed loop going, making crates for us. So th let's say this ends up like here. Small crate. I wish it showed the recipe on that. Small crate is just wood. <clears throat> crate will come off here and go into the inventory eventually. So we need to feed wood in here. We need more conveyors. Oh, no. Screwed up the angle again. All right. Make 
make like 10 of these. I've got my filter. I don't think I need the splitter yet. So what I'm going to do is center that a little better on angle. Okay, we're feeding wood into here. Obviously that means this. Or, we have biomass coming off this way. Right click, choose left filter. We wanna pull the biomass out. Cause we'll get wood and biomass. will go into the compost bin. The compost bin will feed into the seed maker sieve and we'll choose we want tree seeds. Then we can cover this up, put down a planter here. Go plant a tree there. Ooh, we don't quite have enough space here. Unless we pull it this way and belt around. So we need to shift this over one more. <clears throat> so pick this up and swap the dirt spot. Um, planter goes there. And we'll put a belt here at planter. Auto harvester goes there. I think this will work. To test it out, I need to rotate this. I just. I think I have to pick it up. Gotta remember to set it for tree seeds. I need it to go that way now. All right, so this should make tree seeds. This will make tree seeds, which I'll put like one piece of dirt in to get us started. That'll feed, I'll put the seed here. This will plant it. This will harvest and get the wood and the Hoobity hoobity. The uh, biomass. The biomass will get filtered out this way. The wood will go into the small crate maker, and once we get enough wood, it'll just spit out onto here and we'll end up with crates in our inventory. Yeah? Let's try it out. Um, it's not what I meant. Let's click. Tree seed, tree seed. <clears throat> And the cool thing is the biomass. Did it work? Did you get biomass? Oh, we need more than one biomass, don't we? We got no biomass. Did it go into here? Why didn't the filter work? Biomass. I said that earlier, didn't I? Did I pick it up and move it? Biomass. Okay. It was closed. Oops, I just put dirt in here too. Give me these and that. Can't pick that up because of the stack size. All right. Let's come in here and put five. Okay. So that'll put some dirt in here, which will make more than one tree seed. And real quick, take these out. We just have wood in here. There it goes.
So I think that'll be a sustained loop. Because the biomass makes more dirt than we have biomass. More dirt means more tree seeds than the biomass we fed into it. There's our first crate. Hey, hey, hey. I think it's two each time. Yes. If we wanted to, we could wait until we have ten of them and make uh, some bigger crates. But look at that beauty. I think eventually it'll actually get backed up. Because we'll end up with more seeds than what we have stack size. <laughs> Still, pretty cool. There comes the crate. Okay, there was a little progress bar when it was running. That's cool. I mean, I suppose we could have a line of these going just as easily. This is the last one? Nope, one more. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. a long trip down this belt, but there's four. Up. Oh. Hooray. Yeah, so the question is, do I wait and make one of these? Alright, I think I'm just going to put them down. Here comes another one. I mean, even 200, right? Also, this system lets me not have all that biomass in my inventory. Like, I'm not using... It, it's not going into my inventory, it's just going straight back into the system. 200, all right. Um, what does it take to make these? We get four, I think. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Oh, yes. <laughs> and this system will just keep running. I love it. All right, we got four of those. We can expand again. That's going to take eight. To expand again. I mean, you could see how we could fill, or not fill, but like, we could turn this into something that makes small crates and feeds it into a medium crate maker. All we would need is something making copper bars and copper seeds. We would just need another set of sieve and dirt makers. Cool. So what do we need next for leveling up? Was conveyors, splitters, and crafters. All right, I keep hitting the wrong button there. So conveyors, we needed 20? 20? Oh, 50 conveyors. Let's maybe not do that that way. So that's plastic and automatoes. So if I wanted to automate that, first I would need a cube. I need a cube. Make that one. You make it here. I got one of those. Make one of these. Yes. Then plastic and tomatoes. 
So let's make back here. Make one of these. And one of these. And over here, make them into the ones that can automatically run. So that's one for tomatoes. We need one for plastic. Also, if we're going to automate conveyor belts. So we need more copper. Yeah. Quite a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just tear up our auto planters. Because it's kind of easier to just plant things ourselves. And harvest this way. Let's blow this up. Come on. Um need some seeds. Copper seeds. Let's see. Copper? Yep. Open this up. Actually, let's just dump all of our dirt in. Yeah. We kind of don't need it. Or at least half of it there. Get some copper bars made. I'm already seeing how I would want to set, lay this out differently so that everything can fit better. <laughs> Isn't that the way of these games, though? You put, st you make stuff, and then immediately go, oh, I could have done that better. You want to tear it up? to 310 for a stack size. I don't know if I actually need huge stack sizes. At least not until they start demanding really big numbers with these. We're down to seven seeds. And then just three more. this doing? Yeah, see, this is building up. I've got 38 seeds in here. So I think this will eventually kind of back up. Perhaps. Another crate. 330. All right, we should have enough copper. <laughs> One would hope to make this and this for the other. So we have maybe, you know, copper and plastic for our conveyor automation. Let's turn those into auto feeding ones. We have two of each. And we'll want another harvester. What do we need for this now? Eight. Thanks. Well, could we? I think we could. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. All right. Um, maybe we make another one of the inventory chests. What were those called again? These. Another collector. I almost have the stuff for that. But I just spent all my copper. Uh, dirt. Let's put it all in. <clears throat> we 
need a few more copper in, able, in, in order to be able to make this. So we need one of these, so two bars there and a bar there. Should be coming right up. Nice. One there. And then this. Cool. It's crates. Alright, so if I want to put this collector... Somewhere like there, let's say. And... We're eventually going to be feeding conveyor belts into it. The conveyor belts need two ingredients. Let's move it all up one more. <laughs> Just put it in the corner. The conveyor belt maker goes there. Of we'll two ingredients coming into it. And those ingredients were plastic and copper? Plastic and tomatoes. We'll be harvesting plastic. Oh, we gotta get the uh, bio stuff out. I actually probably only needed one compost bin. Eh. We need a splitter, I think. Let's get a splitter. Half the items go left, the other half go right. And we can change the configuration, I said, by clicking on it. Like we can put that down and then right click. Yeah, so it can have some of them come out this way and the others go straight through, turn right and straight through, or go all three ways, or just left and right. So we can use that to split off our biofuel. Biomass, not biofuel. Um, so this can filter the biomass out, and then the splitter will send half of it to one of the seed makers, and the other one will send it to the other seed maker. Okay. So, we need the filter here. I have to tear up the other thing first. Makes sense, I guess. Up there. <clears throat> and get a more reasonable tool. So this one will send biomass out the left. Should be said, I think. Then we'll have two um, send this two different directions. I think what we'll do is have it go like there and straightforward. Then we can set our composters here, our seed makers here. <clears throat> and then our planters. Harvesters will go here. Nope, not there. Rotated one too many. And then these will just send it around the long way this way. Ran out. Do I need three more? Two, three. And I need to set one of these two automatoes. One of these two oil lift. Oh no. That's not gonna be plastic. 
I just realized. I also have to process the olive stuff to plastic. So let's have the top one be plastic. This one can be the automatos because those just go around and be done. This will have to feed into a plastic maker. Lo and behold, I have one of those. It's another hundred stack size. <laughs> Wonder if an auto planter would put those down. <laughs> um, tear that up. We feed a plastic maker. And the plastic comes out this way. Um, I don't think the biomass will come out that way. Shoot. Need another filter? Is that right? Which means, ooh, ooh. Get back all this up one. Feed that straight into this here. This here. Uh, is that what I want to do? Auto planter here. And then, yeah, I'm going to need a filter. To get the biomass separated out. Need some more copper. I suppose it would seem a little bit wasteful, but I could set up little automations for each one of these different types of seeds, and then it would be constantly complaining that I've run out of stack size, but I would also always have a full set of the item. Alright, so the filter. I want to filter plastic up. And just send the biomass on. So tear up the plastic maker. And these will go this way. Like this, I think. <clears throat> All right, this will be olives. The biomass will continue straight forward and come around to be filtered out down here. So I think all we have to do is hoe these up and then put tomatoes. We need to set this to olives. Put one in each. I think. <laughs> oh, oh. No, I set. Did I set that? Yeah, I set that to olives. Yes. You got an off. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. You saw some of the biomass went into here, some went into here. We need to put a little more dirt in, I think. So we get enough biomass to make... I guess I could seed the biomass. That's only going to give one each. Two. Okay. And three, four, five. And over here. And three, four, five. All right. That should get our loop going.
And there comes our first plastic. And with that, there it is, it's under the tomato. <laughs> I was like, wait, where'd it go? Oh, look at those conveyor belts. <laughs> and, dare I say it, we're completely automated for this. We got two in there, one in there. Is that enough to make more? I think it will. <clears throat> I guess it went. Cool. All right. Now we've just got conveyors coming out our wazoo. How's the crates coming? They're still coming. <clears throat> Putting those down, I guess. I'm gonna try seeing if I can feed these into a planter have them put the crates down for me. It'd be kind of funny. Let's, um... What did that do? I think it just built it. I don't think that did quite what I meant. Here comes another crate, though. Yeah, 30 conveyor belts already. Mighty fine. Nope. Planter won't plant crates. Darn it. Like we're getting more plastic than we are tomatoes, but I think that's because the plastic recipe makes like seven at a time, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so five seeds in, seven plastic out. I wonder what happens if this backs up. I guess it wouldn't back up here. It would back up back here on the, um, the seed production. If this fills up with seeds to the point where they can't input anymore, I think it would build up in here. <clears throat> but that's our conveyor belts, all the ones we needed. What goes into splitters and stuff? Same stuff, so I could switch it over to making splitters just by changing the recipe. Tear the machine up and put the other one down. And what was the other thing we needed? Oh, just the cores. Go to those again. I'll just manually make those, I think, 20 of them. Let's stop this process. How do I stop this process? See, now that it's going, it'll just start dumping stuff onto the ground. I know how to stop it. Turn these up. <clears throat> Those will start to back up there. 
Mainly, I didn't want a bunch of stuff dropping on the ground when I picked this up. And... Actually, I need to do the other thing. I need to shift get the parts back. And then come down here and make it into a splitter maker. Same ingredients. So now I should be able to just put these back. That's backwards. Like so. And we should start getting splitters coming out of there. I think we only need 20 of these, though. Yeah. Not as tricky of a thing. Uh, we need 20 of these. We need some more iron and copper. So let's set this to... I guess copper first. And put half of this in. Take half of it back. Seven splitters, eight splitters. We need twenty. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> That's so cool. I like the visual of the belts in this game. How things just kind of corner, they slide around. Once we have enough splitters there, I think I'll tear those up. Was... Oh, that takes a lot more stuff from the filter. A oh, wooden sieve. Um, plant a bunch of these. Let's get this making this off my hands. Um, iron seeds. And come into here and put first put half half in and then take half back out. So we don't make a humongous amount. <clears throat> and I really do think I should set up like a little loop for each one of the seed types. Just so I have a whole bunch on hand to make whenever I need iron. And some more iron. Iron seeds take a little longer, huh? three versus two or one for the trees. All right, we have enough splitters, but those are nice to have. I should just make a splitter machine and a belt machine and then swap those out when I want. Or I could sort of mirror this on the other side once I have the space. Or, you know, I can make it more efficient <laughs> altogether. <laughs> right, more iron here. So I need 20 of these. I have seven. Ten. I need more plastic. Jeez. Do I 
have the olives on me? I certainly do. Where did I get that many from? What, it's a uh, control click to make 10 at a time? Yeah. But 14, 13, 12. Shift click would make all the ones you can. Oh, I don't have the olives left. Okay. That's good enough, though. I also needed... Copper again. I only need five more of those. For this. Have everything else, and then we'll level up. And see what's next. some planting, do some inventory growing. Her. One, two, three, four, five. There's 20 of those. Level up. Wah. What even? Glass. Compactus has shrinking powers. Ooh. Iron ingots, a lot of tomatoes. So all the stuff, pretty much. You've unlocked iron tier items. Ooh. You can now make an advanced crafting table. Crafting table. It allows you to craft lots of new useful items. Upgraded versions of the harvester and planter are now available at the automation crafting table. So, Planter 2 plants seeds from its storage two fields in front of it, inputs seeds automatically or manually by clicking on a thing. So, I think that means it plants two fields, like the one directly in front of it and two in front. And the same with the Harvester 2 here. Harvest two fields in front of it. Hmm. <clears throat> And we have the iron sieve. That's where we're going to have to get our new seeds from, I believe. Ooh, advanced crafting. Need iron and copper. Let's set those up. Let's maybe stop making crates. <laughs> it's getting kind of crazy. Um, I guess what I'm going to do here is stop this for a moment. I'm gonna replace this with just a belt. Send the biomass that way. I should do it. Stop. Um a knife. Okay, we have no seeds in here, so we can tear that up. What's this? 134 seeds. <laughs> That'll take a little while. <clears throat> I think we'll be all right, though. In the meantime, we will st still keep getting crates for a while. Um, splitters. Nice. Let's make ourselves a conveyor maker just to have so this makes conveyors anytime we want to we can tear this up and put down the conveyor get a bunch of those that'll take a while um what kind of numbers did we need here okay it's a good thing we leveled up but we're going on a thousand. How many of these? Eight? Did I already do it? Oh, I did it and never redeemed it. Whoops. Well, hey, we've got more space now. Let's change this. 
Till this is done. Let's tear that up. I think that's paused enough. Okay. Let's pick up this. Whoops. I should have waited. Put this back. Okay. I thought we were done. <laughs> it's a little too quick. Pick that. Let's just pick up all this. Put this down here. And this here. Then we can put... Where's our grabber? Harvester. Put that back in. That'll keep working the way it was. Our crates. Let's tear these up. Um, the planter still has a little ways to go. I could always just pick it up, but there's the fun in that. It's automated. Let's let it do its automation thing. Splitters, we've got 50 of those. So let's pick up this, this, and once this all runs through, we'll swap the splitter out to get some more conveyors, just for the fun of it. All right, pick that up and put in the one for the conveyors. Rotate it there. And put these back in. All right, how many are we gonna need? 16. All right, that should be fine. We got splitter, crafter. So say I wanted, actually, if I tear this up, this, oh, is that just the raw, raw stuff? Yeah, it gave me all the raw ingredients, not like, I was hoping it would give me the planter back, or the, you know, the copper, not automated one. Let's see, let's see what it takes to make some of this stuff. Iron. Let's make a small iron maker. That should be pretty easy to what we'll be harvesting like off of here. We'll have some biomass. We have a filter. Don't have a filter. Let's have the biomass go into the thing there. That should be easy. Hammer this up. So this will go into a copper compost bin. Yes. Like so. So now it's got. Yeah, it's picking that up. Uh huh. We'll be making iron seeds here. Those will be iron. That's just shoot. It's gonna dump it out. Put it into a planter. Then a harvester will pull that up and put it into our box for us. Oh, oh ho. Cool. There. Iron's automated. Thanks to the trees. Actually, that'll put the biomass back into here. But for now, that'll work. <clears throat> a little later, I can replace this. Once the tree seeds are done. 
Uh, we already have 11 in there. <laughs> Put all those in there. Six boxes. Nine hundred fifty. <laughs> <clears throat> right, is that enough to make this? I need twenty. That's pretty slow. Let's make the tier twos. Make one of those. And then we would want this on the other side. Tier two of this. Sweet. So let's set this up differently. Tear that up. Let this run. Actually, take all these back. You got much to go? Couple. And then you're done. Pick that up. Take these. And then pick that up. Let's try out our double, double, double here. So, enter two, going this way. Of the seeds, go straight into it again. This will be iron seeds. Um, tear this up. That's a mark one. One harvester two. And what should happen is if I put these in here, two, haha, <laughs> to put all of those in there. So now it'll be planting and harvesting them twice as fast, right? Because we're planting two at a time instead of planting one at a time for machine. Yes. Cool. Um, the number of seeds I have, too, that might be enough. <clears throat> I might not need to set up the rest of that. Just we got 50 to go. All right, I wanted all that so that I can make... Not this, but this. Need five more. We're almost there. What else? How do we make the iron sieve? We need to make an iron sieve. That's probably made here, right? Yeah. 19, one more batch. Oh, we've got over 100 conveyors. And we set that back to splitters. One second, please. This stuff run out. All right, let's make advanced crafting table. Hello. Put that here. And here's where we make glass using sand, I guess. Iron sieve. Iron compost bin. I mean, do we just go ahead and make automated ones of these? I think we do. But we need more iron again for that. Um, you're done. Let's put down... That always worries me when it splits into all the pieces instead of just picking up the one. I'm like, oh no, did I click the wrong thing? 
Does that make splitters again? We'll put down our harvesters again. There and there. Cool. Crates. Isn't that great? We have crates. 1,000. We still have more tree seeds to go. <laughs> Are we down to 33? more of those. I guess we could help it out some. So can I make more of these? I need more copper for that. Let's just manually do some farming again. Go back to the good old days, right? And a bunch of these. Use our iron knife on it. there on that. I wanted the harvesters, that's right. So I can turn... Basically, I think it'll be fine. I guess I could test. If there's only one field in front of it, it should still work, right? What to find out. Uh, let's harvest these up. Let's put back this. And then I was thinking I would do something like the harvester twos in here to feed into there. It's gonna be a whole bunch <laughs> of biomass at once. This way we can just plant stuff and it'll harvest it for us. to go with this anymore. Those. This catch up yet? Getting there. Cool. Whoops. Let me shift, delete that one. back up. This is getting caught up. So we might think about figuring out how to split this stuff correctly. Oh, this ran out altogether. Okay. So let's replace this process. That's all the crates. So we ended up at 1100. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> um, that up. Pick this up. We need a f our filter. Um. Pick this up if it wants to level up every time I hover on it. There we go. Let's move this to here. So this will take... That really should be you take anything, right? Hmm. 
I should have left that where it was. So put this a little ways down there. And then just conveyor in. That way other things can also feed into it past here. But we'll set this to pull biomass up. <clears throat> and feed that back into the composter that I think I just destroyed. That's fine. We can get a better composter. Turns eight into five dirt. That's a lot. Hold up. I just realized. Turns five into six dirt. So even that would eventually get to where we're making more dirt. We'll have a system where things will just keep getting bigger and bigger. All right, so let's make put this back so we can make an automated one. That'll feed into this camera. It'll feed into there. This is making what iron? Yeah, it's already making iron. The biomass will come into here. And of course, I didn't put down my harvester. <laughs> Whoops. Pick that up, that up, and that. So we'll have a harvester too. Then our filter right here. And then our collector and belt here. And this will still need to pull up biomass into the system in that way. All right, harvester two goes here. And we should have a self-sustaining loop. <clears throat> Put these down. So everything is nice and green. All right, and the fact we have three in there should get us yeah I'm not worried because that'll turn into the dirt which will give us more seeds yep we're not gonna run out anytime soon but it is time to end the episode so with this crazy automation going I think I'm going to call it an episode, and we will pick this up another time. I'm having fun with it. I hope you're having fun with it. Let me know your thoughts and comments and so forth uh, down in the comments. Um, but in the meantime, remember to be kind, have fun, and I will see you later. Bye!